My Game Week 27 score predictions of the 2022-23 EFL Championship season. Back to league action now. We finished our week break for when the, the FA Cup round of fixtures took place. We begin with Rotherham United against Blackburn Rovers. Rotherham United, they've been conceding quite a lot of goals lately. Last time out in their last game, a defeat to Millwall, a 3-0 defeat. Um, there um, also lost to Huddersfield Town, 2-0. They lost West Bromwich Albion, 3-0. And also a defeat to Bristol City in, in, in that 3-1 loss as well. Blackburn Rovers... Still yet to pick up a draw. We say this every week, uh, but this, they're still keeping up their record with 14 wins and 12 defeats so far this season. Away from home in this game against the Rotherham United side that, as I did just mention, they conceded a lot of goals. So I do think Blackburn Rovers will be able to win this one, although it is pretty much 50-50 every game. Uh, last time out, they beat Cardiff 1-0, but then prior to that, they lost to Middlesbrough 2-1. Yeah, I'm going to go for a Blackburn Rovers victory in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory for Blackburn here. Nice, comfortable away day win. Nothing massive. Uh, last time these two sides did face earlier on in the season at Ewood Park, it did end in a 3-0 victory to Blackburn Rovers. Um, but I do think that they will be able to do the double against Rotherham this season. Next up, we have Bristol City facing Birmingham City. Birmingham City slowly dropping down the table um, with with three defeats in their last three games. A defeat to Middlesbrough in their last game, 3-1. Bristol City themselves haven't managed to pick up a win in quite a while also. They did pick up a 1-1 draw against Coventry City in their last game. Um, yeah, I'm going to go for a Birmingham City victory in this one. It was a 3-0 victory to Birmingham when these two sides faced earlier on in the season. I'm going to back both sides to score. I think it'll be a bit tighter than the one that took place earlier on in the season. And I'm going to go for a 2-1 away win for Birmingham in this one. Next up, Burnley against Coventry City. Burnley still top of the table. With an absolute amazing run going on, they've they've won their last six games with a, a 2-1 victory over Swansea City in their last game. They, they normally score quite a lot of goals. I think they'll be able to score some goals in this game. I'm going to go 2-0 to Burnley in this one. It was a narrow 1-0 victory to Burnley last time these two sides faced at the Coventry Building Society. But at home, at Turf Moor in this one, I think they will be able to get another goal and they'll win this one 2-0. Next up, Cardiff City against Wigan Athletic. Both of these sides not on the greatest of form. W Cardiff City currently in 20th, in danger of slipping down into that relegation zone. Wigan Athletic, rock bottom of the table in 24th. Yeah, I think, well, both teams, they're definitely in need of a win and I, I'm going to back the home side in this one to actually pick up quite a comfortable victory despite their struggles. I am going to go for a 3-1 Cardiff City victory which was actually the exact same scoreline when these two sides faced earlier on in the season at the DW Stadium. So yeah, I think Cardiff will, will also be able to do the double over Wigan this season. Next up, Hull City against Huddersfield Town. Both of these sides picking up their form. You know, they started off Pretty pretty poor, but I, I think both sides, they're growing into it now. Hull City, they're, they're up to 16th. Huddersfield Town, still in the relegation zone, but they are climbing out of it. And, you know, a victory here and obviously other results going their way, like Rotherham losing and Blackpool losing. They can see themselves staging a comeback. And I think they'll be able to pick up all three points up in this game. I'm going to go for a 2-1 away victory to Huddersfield in this one. It was a 2-0 victory to Huddersfield when these two sides faced earlier on in the season. And I think Huddersfield will be able to do the double over Hull City in this game also. Next up, Luton Town against West Bromwich Albion. Both sides on some really good bit of form. Both of these sides just outside the top six playoff zone. Luton Town in seventh, West Brom in ninth. Both of these sides will want to pick up all three points, but I think both will have to settle for a draw in the end. I'm going to go for a 1-1 one -one draw. Surprisingly, this actually did end a draw uh, in the in the first half of the season when, when they played at the Hawthorns. They, they, they both took part in a 0-0 draw. I'm going to go for a score draw in this one, 1-1. One -one. 
Then next up is Middlesbrough against Millwall. Once again, both sides are doing absolutely superb at the moment. Both of these sides are in the top six. Middlesbrough in fifth, Millwall in sixth. Once again, both of these sides will want to pick up three points, keep the momentum going. Millwall won this fixture last time out at the Den where they beat Middlesbrough 2-0. I think both sides are going to pick up a point in this one, though. I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. Next up, on to Deepdale, Preston North End against Norwich City. Both sides were in the playoffs just not too long ago. Both have slipped down to mid-table since, but it is very tight in that mid-table and only two points off the playoffs. Anything can still happen. Preston in 10th, Norwich City in 11th. Norwich City are going to have their new manager in since the sacking of Dean Smith. Both sides currently on a mixed bit of form. Preston's last game, we did beat Stoke City away 1-0, but our away record is way better than our home record, which does worry me coming, in, uh, coming into this game. Norwich City, they did lose in their last game, 1-0 defeat to Watford. I think Norwich are going to win this one. It'll be a close game. I'm going to go for a narrow 1-0 victory to Norwich, of course, when these two sides did face earlier on in the season at Carrow Road. It was a goal fest and Preston won that one 3-2. I think it's going to be a complete opposite of that game. Low scoring and a Norwich victory, unfortunately for us, but we'll move on. Next up, Reading against Queen's Park Rangers. Both of these sides, again, mid-table, Reading in 13th, QPR in 12th. Very tight, these fixtures. Reading's last game ended in a defeat, a 1-0 defeat against West Bromwich Albion. They picked up a 1-1 draw against Norwich. Queen's Park Rangers' last few games, a draw with Sheffield United, 1-1 defeat, a 3-0 defeat against Luton Town. Yeah, going to be another tight one, this. I'm going to go for a draw, 1-1, both sides to score. Queen's Park Rangers did win this fixture earlier on in the season, 2-1. But I, I just think both sides will pick up a point in this one. We'll move on now to Sheffield United against Stoke City. Sheffield United, another side doing really well. Currently in second place, they're looking set to get automatic promotion alongside Burnley to the Premier League. Their opponent, Stoke, not doing the greatest. They lost 1-0 to Preston, as I mentioned above in their last game. Also prior to that, they lost 1-0 against Burnley. Yeah, I think Sheffield United will win this one. And I'm going to go for a 2-0 victory to the Blades. Stoke City did actually win this fixture uh, at the Bet365 Stadium earlier on in the season. But at Bramall Lane in this one, I do not think they will be able to do the double over them. And yeah, a Blades win in this game. Next up, over to the Stadium of Light, where it is Sunderland against Swansea City. Sunderland, they had a pretty poor patch in the middle of the first half of the season. Since then, they've picked up some pretty good wins. And they now see themselves fighting for that top six playoff spots. They're currently in eighth place. Swansea City, they were up there at one time. They have since dropped off after all the draws and defeats they did get. They're now down in 15th place. This one's going to be a pretty tough one. Swansea won this fixture 2-1. Last time these two sides faced earlier on in the season. With Swansea, they are scoring the goals. They're just also conceding some as well. So I'm going to go for a high-scoring draw in this one. I'm going to go for a 2-2 draw. And then we'll finish off at Vicarage Road with Watford against Blackpool. Where Blackpool actually beat Watford in the reverse fixture. It was a 3-1 victory over Watford at Bloomfield Road. I think... Watford will be able to get their revenge in this game, though. They're at home, and I think it will be a nice, comfortable 2-0 victory for Watford in this one. Blackpool's form, not the best as of late. And, well, you know, anything can happen, as we saw with the Watford and Swansea game. But Watford, I'm backing them to, to win this one. And that wraps up my score predictions for Game Week 27. If you did enjoy, please do leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done already. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.